All right, people, I got a fun project right now. Um, so one of the things in your DH projects you're going to have to do is you're going to have to map out uh, data, not just map it out with regards to social networks, for which I have a whole series on, but also map out data on a actual geographical map. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly and very easily using two different modules. We're going to be using a module called Folium. If you haven't done so, pause the video, go ahead and install it. And the other module we're going to be using is a module called Geo, uh, GeoPy, G-E-O-P-Y. So from GeoPy.GeoCoders, and we're going to be specifically working with the, I've never known how to pronounce this, Naminatim. I say it like that every single time I type it. Uh, but basically, it's an API that allows you to interact with Naminatim and extract geodata. I'll get to that in a second. So traditionally, when people work with Folium, they uh, put a whole bunch of geocodes in. Uh, but you know what? If you're a Pythonista, the one thing you should get very comfortable with and be very happy with is that you can automate a lot of these boring tasks. Why should you look up geocodes when you can just extract them from an API in Python? So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a script that will pass in a series of places, extract... Uh, get the geocodes for those places and then pass all of that data into Folium, which will then map everything out for us by creating a JavaScript based uh, map. Sounds complicated, but we're going to do this in probably about 10 lines of code. Let's make it as tight as possible. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, create an object called geolocator. This is a Pythonic way of doing it. You're going to set that equal to Namik team, and you're going to just create a user agent. This is in the documentation. You're going to make that just kind of whatever. I'm going to put Carol engine because I work a lot with the Carol engines. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a series of places. So one of the things I did in my project a while back was I started creating a list of places where these individuals were connected. So I had the city of Tour, I had Azer, Fulda, which is in Germany, Aachen, which is on the border of Germany and uh, Netherlands. And let's pick another one. Let's pick a York somewhere in England. Okay, great. So those are my places. I gotta make an object here, otherwise I'm gonna have a bad day. So great. The next thing we have to do is we have to create another object called M. This is the Pythonic way to create a map in Folium. So we're gonna make that folium.map, and we're gonna just give it a location right now. And I'm gonna use the location that I always use because it's a good uh, setup for Europe. It's actually the location of Tour, France, but I like the way it centralizes on, on Europe. And we're gonna do it at a zoom level, so zoom start is equal to five. What that's going to do is it's going to tell the map at what zoom level to do it at when the when the map first loads. One will bring it all the way out so you see the whole world. I, I forget what number it goes up to, but you can zoom in pretty close to street level. Uh, five puts it where you can kind of see all of Western Europe and a little bit of North Africa, I believe. So once we have that made, really all we're going to do is just iterate everything in a loop. So we're going to say for I and places, so this is going to iterate across our places list, we're going to say place equals geolocator dot geocode, and we're going to pass in I. And what that's going to do is it's going to go through our places list and pass in this piece of information each time. So tour, which is going to in turn return, in fact, let me write it. It's going to return for us a series of coordinates. So when I run this, Oops, <laughs> it's going to pass in that. I have to actually get the coordinates. And I do that by doing this latitude and we're going to do place dot longitude. Wonderful. Now, when I run this, it'll go through and it'll print off all the latitudes and longitudes. This is going to save you so much time. It means if you have a data set of a lot of place names and you don't have the coordinates, you do not have to look up all those coordinates anymore. Put that aside. Let Python do all the dirty work and just sit back and drink a coffee. Apparently, I've had too much because I think I'm talking kind of fast now. So that was kind of just the troubleshoot what was going on. I'm going to leave it in the script so I can kind of see where uh, I'm at in my loop. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a tooltip. And we're going to make that equal to F, which is going to be an F string. And we're going to pass in the brackets I. What this is going to do is it's going to give us a label on the map. And it's going to be equal to the uh, the place name. So the next thing that we need to do is we are going to do folium dot marker and this is going to place a marker down on the map and what we're going to do is we're going to create 
a list and we're going to pass in these two pieces of information place dot latitude comma place dot longitude and what that's going to do is it's going to place on the map a marker at that specific spot and what we're going to do is we're going to want to have a label a little pop-up label so i'm going to say pop-up is equal to and we're going to say let's do an f string again we're going to do f strong so this is going to be some basic html and we're going to do that and then close strong tag like that and that's going to give us a nice little html for um, making that kind of be emboldened and then finally we are going to say that we want our tooltip to be equal to tooltip and that's going to make sure that that data is passed in as well and finally i want to do an icon i can change the icon in folium go look at the documentation of um, folium maybe i'll do a series on it but you can do a whole bunch of stuff with folium it's pretty powerful and pretty easy to to type all the data in that you want to have happen all the customizations so i want to have a color and i want this color to be green i'm a big fan of green uh, and the last thing that you have to do once you have all this is you have to add it to the map so you're going to use the command add underscore two, and you're going to say you're going to add it to M. That's going to add it to our map up here. And literally, you don't have to do any of that. You can just do this information here and the pop-up information, and you'll be fine. Uh, but I wanted to be a little extra fancy. So now we're going to do m.save, and we're going to save this just as map.html. And I'm going to run this, and you're going to see it create it pretty quickly as it runs through the lip. List that runs through the loop. Wonderful, it's done. So now I'm going to pull up my project folder. If I open it up here, you'll see that it's just a bunch of HTML and JavaScript. So let's go over to our data here. And I'm gonna bring it over, it's on my other monitor. And this is what your output is. It's HTML code, so uh, with JavaScript, which means you can implement this on your website very easily by just copying and pasting the JavaScript over. But what we see is our data mapped out. So why is this so useful? It's useful because within Python, you can pass a whole bunch of data through both of these modules, both uh, GeoPy and Folium, and very quickly map it out. You'll get a beautiful map, and it can be a very customized map. These place names can have different icons. They can have different icon colors. With Folium, you can draw circles around whole regions. It's very, very powerful, but this is how you can very quickly kind of process your data through Python and create really nice network uh, geographical maps. So thanks for listening.